We're going to replace the belt tensioner, the drive belt tensioner on this Mercedes engine, which is located right here. You can replace it without removing anything. In this case, we do have the radiator off, so you can see what's going on, but it's not necessarily to do that. Um, you have two bolts, one here and one here. And these bolts are Torx E12. Uh, so for the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna remove this belt. But before you even do that, you need to move the belt tensioner in the service position, as you can see here. Once you put a 17 millimeter wrench in here and just move it all the way up, then you can put a, a, a pin right there. And then it'll not only keep the tensioner up uh, so that you can easily remove the belt, but you can also remove this lower bolt right here. So uh, the only uh, challenging part about this is that uh, you don't have that much space and you're gonna be doing some of this without even seeing. So uh, watching this video should help tremendously. Um, we're gonna go ahead and do that, go through the whole procedure so you can see what uh, and how to do it. So I have here, it can be a pin, just a metal pin or anything. It just needs to be strong enough to hold the tensioner. And then we're gonna move this up. And move it over as much as we can. And then right there, I'm gonna push this through. You can see that right, that's right there, it's secured in the, in the up position. And then you can move out the belt. Okay, so once you do that, then you go ahead and you have this bolt right here that you need to remove. Having a about a two inch extension here really helps. Because you need to be far away, you don't hit these pulleys. And right here we have another bolt that needs to be removed. To install it, you gotta start these bolts by hand. You wanna strip the threads there. So I think I got some over here. Next thing you do is you put the belt back, and since we do have the tension on the up position, it should slide over pretty easily. Once you do that, then the last thing is put a little bit of pressure, lift it up, and then remove that locking pin. And then you make sure that the belt is sitting on all the uh, pulleys properly, and that's it.